Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. Today in this video, I'm going to show you all of the spawn locations for Gigas here on the island on Ark Survival Ascended. So there are quite a few areas. I'm going to show you each location with the Gigas, where they spawn and all that sort of stuff. Here we have the first Gigas spawn location. So one key thing you need to keep in mind is that the Gigas and the sources share spawn points and timers so that means sometimes we will get a carcodontosaurus instead of a giga but they do have the same spawn point so this is the first location that i'm going to show you in this video and of course there are a total of five locations where you can find gigas or carcodontosauruses so this is as i said first location you've seen the giga i will try and show you the spawn points with the giga now do bear in mind that the gigas will wander about now i'm doing this on my own server so it's just me playing at the time of making this video but if you're playing on a public server or a server with multiple players they may have wandered about because of course they will have been spawned in and so they'll be aggressive towards anything else and here we are with another giga spawn location this one's a level 30 as you can see now this one is in the volcano and uh, as you can see there's a that is the ascension cave right there it has aggroed onto me what is good about this location is if the giga is a level that you don't want to tame uh don't get me wrong a level 30 giga is still a powerful beast you can actually use a flyer to kite it into the lava the lava will make short work of the giga but then this also plays to your disadvantage if you wanted to tame a higher level giga because you'll have to find a way of kiting it out without it taking too much damage or killing itself in the lava as you can see it's already taking damage this is the map as well so you guys can see exactly where it is now if you're playing on a server with multiple people if it's loaded in it will most likely have wandered about so you may potentially need to have a look around the volcano as well but as you can see it's taken a decent amount of damage so this is a, another location where you can find gigas as you can see this time around i got a carcodontosaurus and because i am here and it's loaded in it will be aggressive towards other things it will try and attack them and in doing so it will most likely wander off which is what will happen on other servers where people do play i i have the fortune of being by myself on the server so when i'm not here it's not loaded in therefore it's just gonna be here if i leave and come back at a later time but uh, this is the map right here this is where you can find the i believe this is be the third one uh in this video if i put it in the same order i guess here we are with another spawn location now this time around there isn't a giga here but i do have a clip from a previous video uh, i believe it will be the how to tame a giga video this is where it happened this is where i tamed it uh that's where i made the video actually i'll show you the location where i built the trap as well just in case you were wondering and uh it will show up in an episode as well in my uh playthrough series but this is where i built the trap down there so i'll show you the clip now okay so i've taken the sound of the gameplay and the sound of the how to tame out so just so i can show you its location it's the exact same spot that i showed you before and uh yeah this is another location where you can find a giga if you're wanting to tame one now here we are with the final location where you can find gigas and uh this is the blue obelisk mountain and as you can see right there there's a level 10 actually pretty nice color there and uh now that i've loaded it in it's going to do its own little thing it's going to wander about fight stuff but uh, yeah, these are all the five locations where Gigas will spawn on the map. Now, there are a couple of things to bear in mind. Firstly, these are rare spawns, therefore hard to find and tame. And they also share spawn timers w with the Rhinonathia. So what that means is that if you don't see a Giga in any of these places, the chances are that there is a Rhinonathia. And because it's a rare tame, Gigas won't spawn. Therefore, you'll have to get rid of the Rhinonathia and hopefully hope that a giga will spawn in its place there's a good chance that uh, there will be another rhinonathia or a carcodontosaurus so the chances of getting a giga nowadays is um somewhat decreased here on the island i do like that to be fairly honest personally speaking because it makes the gigas that much more rarer and uh yes they are of course 
quite powerful creatures. Now, this video took me quite a while to make, so if you guys have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative, please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button, share, comment, and subscribe. It does help out a lot. As I said, this video took a long time to make because of trying to get all of the spawn points to spawn gigas. So with all that said, I hope that you guys managed to find the high level giga eventually. And as always, until next time, stay safe, folks.